Hello, and welcome to the Full Circle Podcast, your source for insights into the science and art of endurance sports training and racing. I'm your host, Coach Laura Henry. Today is Coach Tip Tuesday. We are three weeks into the new year now, which means that a full 43% of people have already given up or been unsuccessful at achieving the resolutions or goals that they set for themselves as the calendar shifted to January 1st. While I generally don't advocate for setting New Year's resolutions precisely because their success rate is so abysmal, I do think it's helpful to discuss ideas and behaviors that can help keep us making positive progress towards the goals that we've set that are important to us. After all, setting goals is a foundational aspect of endurance sports training. And so I offer the question that prompted this week's Coach Tip Tuesday. What gets your first fruits? The concept of first fruits originated in ancient religions, where the first agricultural part of the harvest was given up as an offering to various deities, depending on the culture and religion. And while the original concept of first fruits does come from religion, it's not a religious concept when we broaden our perspective to our daily lives. In the context of our daily lives, and as it pertains to this conversation, first fruits means your time, energy, and attention reserves. So when we ask, what is getting your first fruits? We are asking about which thing or things you give those reserves to first. We only have so much time, and so thus we have to decide what our priorities are, that things that get your first fruits are, consciously or unconsciously, what matter most to you? What is currently getting your first fruits? Are the things that are getting your first fruits actually what is most important to you? Are they tied to your core values and your authentic self? By contrast, what's left is the opposite of first fruits. In the context of this conversation, what's left refers to the last of your time, energy, and attention reserves. In other words, out of the things you actually accomplish and or set out to accomplish in a given day, these are the things that rank and or happen last. They are those that get attended to only after you do everything else that you do. They're also the things that get cast aside when your time reserves are spent, aka when your time budget is up and the day is over. It's important to remember that a goal is a thing that you have deemed to be a higher priority than other things. Thus, if you have performance goals in endurance sports and you're serious about them, training must get your first or second fruits. If it's not getting that, then the hard truth is that your goal isn't really a goal because you are not prioritizing it more than you're prioritizing other things in your life. You cannot give it what's left and expect the same result as if you had given it a significant amount of your time, energy, and attention. My observation has been that all too often athletes are giving their what's left to sport and not their first fruits. They are seeking to do everything else that they normally do and fit training in only if it fits in. They are not intentionally carving or setting aside the proper amount of time, space, and energy for training. In other words, for so many athletes, training is actually an afterthought, even if they don't want to admit that this is what's true. In order to determine whether your goals are getting your first fruits or your what's left, you need only track how you are spending your time. And you need to do this honestly, without judgment and without editing. What comes first in your day? What do you do first in your day? Do you check your phone, scroll social media, spend time with your family, pray or spend time having religious time? Do you work? Do you do your sports training? What comes second in your day? And then what comes after that? And so on. What things do you set out to do in a day that you actually don't end up doing? Are you genuinely okay with the things that don't get done, especially if you compare that to what you did get done? So in order to determine the truthful answer to this question, you need to compare how you actually spent your day against the list of things you wanted to do against the list of things you didn't get done. Looking back over those lists, are the things that you did do actually more important to you than what you didn't get done? 
Going through this process can be very enlightening, as it will often show you that you don't value something as much as you thought you did. It also will often show you that you're spending your time on something you don't value as much as something else you would rather be doing. In other words, going through this process can help you determine what you actually want to be giving your first fruits to. Throughout a year or a season, it can be really useful to check in with yourself, to track how you are spending your daily time, and to see if that's in alignment with what actually matters to you. So is what you're giving your first fruits to actually something of that level of importance to you? Increasing self-awareness about this is how you can course correct and stay on the path to your goals, which might just land you in the 9% of people who feel that their annual goals and resolutions were successfully achieved. That was another episode of the Full Circle Podcast. Subscribe to the Full Circle Podcast wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. If you like what you listen to, please be sure to leave us a rating and review as this goes a long way in helping us reach others. The thoughts and opinions expressed on the Full Circle Podcast are those of the individual. As always, we love to hear from you and we value your feedback. Please send us an email at podcast at fullcircleendurance.com or visit us at fullcircleendurance.com backslash podcast. To find training plans, see what other coaching services we offer, or to join our community, please visit fullcircleendurance.com. I'm Coach Laura Henry. Thanks for listening.